If you're a longtime follower of this channel, you remember my Turbo NA. Now, I have had this car for about six years, and a lot of this channel has been built around this car. Last year, I turboed this thing for just over $1,000, and I did my build series too broke to boost it on this thing, and then this thing sort of fell off the face of the earth, and you're probably wondering why. You're probably thinking, man, that $1,200 turbo kit probably blew up, the engine's probably done, this car's probably screwed over, and that's probably why we're not seeing it. Well, to be completely honest, that's 100% not the case. The reason that you haven't been seeing this car has been 100% my own fault, and it started with a lot of maintenance issues and upgrades that I was trying to take care of that I just made worse. The first thing that I was trying to do was upgrade the clutch in this thing, and I put a stage two flying Miata clutch in with the wrong throwout bearing that was not compatible with the stage two clutch, so I had to do a clutch job twice in a row at the beginning of the season, and then I thought I had everything in good shape. So, I started driving this thing around to break in the clutch. I got just about 100 miles on it, and I was pretty confident that I was ready to rip this thing. Since um, I got that clutch used, and it already was sort of broken in, so I was like, all right, 100 easy miles on it. Now we could really start beating on this car. Let's do it. And then I looked under the car, and I was like, hmm, that thing's dripping coolant. I probably should fix that before I keep beating on this thing. And that was dripping right out of where the water pump leaks. So I was like, all right, this is a 216,000 mile car. Let's do the water pump. So I bought a kit off of eBay. And that is where I completely screwed up, shot myself in the foot, and basically gave up this whole summer of driving this car because of that eBay timing belt kit. So me and Matt went ahead and installed the new timing belt and water pump kit on this thing. And then we got it all back together. It took us about, I don't know, like five hours of us both just wrenching on this thing. We got it taken care of, I filled it up with coolant, and this thing was absolutely dumping it right back out. So that was the first time. What happened that time was I folded the flimsy paper gasket when I put that water pump on, and it didn't seal right. So I took everything back apart, did basically the whole entire timing belt and water pump job again, got a new gasket for it, properly sealed it up, filled it up with coolant, and I was like, great, now we're finally going to be able to rip this car. So me and one of my friends took this thing for a drive. It felt so good. It was running awesome, and I was having so much fun with it, and it was literally about a one-mile drive. I took it back to my house, and the whole entire engine bay was covered in oil, and I mean, like, this is the most oil I've ever seen in an engine bay. Uh, bar like a catastrophic engine failure. So I went ahead and dove into it and I figured that it was probably a leak at the front of the engine. So I took everything apart once again, took the timing belt off, looked everything over, everything looked good, no seals were blown out or anything like that. So I put some extra silicone sealer on everything, put it back together and tried to take this thing for a drive. And what do you know, same issue, tons of oil absolutely everywhere and at this point I was just so frustrated with this car that I put it away Way, I parked it for a few months because I have my NB that I've been driving and I was like all right I'll get back to this when I'm more motivated to work on it more excited to get this thing back on the road because right now I've sunk so much time into it and I have nothing to show for it that I just need to take a break. And that brings us to right here and now. So I got some motivation back because I've been missing driving this car. I bought some UV dye for the oil. I put that in there. I ran the car and I diagnosed the problem. Now the problem was the seal that I got, the front main seal from that eBay kit was absolute garbage. So when I installed that front main seal the first time, I thought it slid in fairly easily, but it was a brand new seal that was supposed to fit the car. So I figured all was good. That's what was causing that absolutely massive oil leak. And when I found that out after using that UV dye, I literally was able to pop that cheap eBay seal out by hand. And then I put in a new front main seal and this thing is no longer leaking oil from the front of the engine. I'll show you a clip of me driving this thing right now, but you're finally gonna be seeing this car back on the channel. All right, we're back up and running. This is sweet. I was so nervous about this. I do need to check this when I get back if it's dumping oil. I'm really hoping it's not because that cheap seal really screwed me over. It cost me so much time and money trying to fix this thing. Um, really not even money, just a lot of time trying to fix this thing. So lesson learned, don't cheap out on this stuff. It's not worth it.
Man, is this thing fun now. I miss this car so much. So yes, this thing finally runs and drives again. It does need a decent amount of tune work since that's what I was in the middle of doing before I started having all of these problems. But basically what happened here is that cheap timing belt and water pump kit has wasted an insane amount of my time. So if you're gonna cheap out on stuff, do not cheap out on stuff that's quite a process to fix like internal engine seals or anything like that. Because if you're buying cheap, there's a chance it's gonna be bad. In this case, it was bad and it cost me a lot of time, cost me a lot of motivation, and it made it so I basically did not use this car how I wanted to this season. With all that said, again, you finally will be seeing this car again on this channel. Right now, we're also in the middle of getting Matt's K-swapped NA Miata up and running, so if you wanna see that, definitely check out the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'm happy to have this car back on the road, and I hope you're excited for it too. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and I hope you stick around for the next one.